From saloons that shine like a freshly minted gold nugget, to desperados whose outlaw fashion sense would make even the Kardashians do a double take. We've got it all right here in living color. All right, partner, it's time to mosey on down into the top 100 forgotten Old West in color pictures you won't find in history books. Number 100. Check out this old pic. It's Annie Oakley hanging out with a warrior in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show around 1890. Photo taken by D.F. Barry. Number 99. In this photo, you can see a black cowboy and his beloved wife. 98. Iron White Man, a Sioux Indian, rocked it in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, spotlighting cool Native American cultures on their tour. Number 97. Taken around 1898, it looks like this cowboy is ready to go. 96. Check out this cool pic of Wyatt Earp, the dude who was all about keeping the Wild West in check. He was like the OG lawman everyone knew. Number 95. Check this. Joe Black Fox, a Sioux Indian performer who was part of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, adding talent and culture to the iconic gig. 94. Here's a shot from 1865 showing African Americans gathering fallen soldiers after a battle near Cold Harbor, Virginia. 93. Prostitution was no big deal in the Old West, but the wild frontier vibe let lots of prostitutes level up to owning their own brothels. 92. Annie Oakley, aka Phoebe Ann Moses from Ohio, got her gun skills noticed at 15 when she schooled a traveling marksman. She became a big shot sharpshooter, wowing crowds with her fearless stunts. Number 91. In the photo, George Roy Bean, the dude they call the Law West of the Pecos, held court in his desert saloon down in Texas. Yeah, he was a bit of an oddball, but he wasn't as tough as you'd think. Number 90, taken around 1893, check out the legend herself, Annie Oakley, holding one of her deadliest guns. Such a cool pick. Number 89. Check this one, the Klondike Dance Hall and Saloon, built for the 1909 Alaska-Yukon Pacific Exposition in Seattle, was so real looking that they had to close it down for a bit. 88. In this photo is a cowboy, just doing his thing, riding his horse. 87. And way back in 1885, it's some cowboys kicking it at John Horton Slaughter's San Bernardino Ranch in Arizona. 86. Take a glimpse into cowboy life back in the day. Taken in 1902, it's a pic of a cowboy getting his lasso ready while herding cattle through Kansas. Number 85. Take a look at Geronimo, the famous Apache leader, giving the U.S. and Mexican armies a run for their money along the border in the late 1800s. Number 84. Check out this cool photo. It's a roundup in Colorado in 1898. Number 83. It's Jack. Back in early 1873, when the Prairie Scouts were doing their thing in NYC, just a peek into the Wild West entertainment scene of that era. 82. Check out this snapshot of some unknown gold miner in California around 1851, back in the gold rush days that totally shook up the landscape of Cali and the whole West. Number 81. They started with a base color and added more shades where needed, layer by layer. That's how they brought this pick to life. It's First Admiral David Farragut from the U.S. Navy around 1863. Number 80. Snapped in 1894, it's Butch Cassidy, the notorious outlaw. This pic surely gives us a sneak peek into the life of a big shot Wild West legend. 79. Check this out. It's James Patrick Masterson, the lawman brother of Pat and Ed Masterson, caught on camera circa 1880. Number 78. Back in the day, Chinese immigrants were a big part of the West's growth, doing crucial work. But their presence ticked off some white folks, leading to the first anti-immigrant laws to stop more Asians from coming in. 77. In the photo, Buffalo Bill and Texas Jack Omohandro seated with their rich buddies in 1873. From left to right, you got Elijah P. Green, James A. Scott, and Eugene Overton. Number 76. These guys were getting all set for a cattle drive back around 1889. Number 75. It's two American dudes hanging with three native Indian guys. It's like a mashup of cultures. 
showing how different backgrounds can totally click. Number 74. After the Civil War, a bunch of freed slaves made their way to the Wild West. They were kind of done with the East's biases and wanted a fresh start out West where things were more open. Number 73. We've got here Wild Bill Hickok, the badass gunslinger of legends, chillin' in a photo snap somewhere between 1868 and 1870. Number 72. Calamity Jane was all about that generous vibe and fearless attitude. She had some epic showdowns with native tribes and might have been hitched to Wild Bill Hickok, though the details are a little bit fuzzy. Number 71. See here, Wild Bill Hickok, the legendary gunslinger, rocking his iconic black coat look. That outfit's like his Wild West trademark, making him forever part of that cowboy legend scene. Number 70. Somewhere around 1888, there's this cowboy chilling inside a Wyoming saloon. The pic totally grabs that Wild West vibe and the whole feel of the times. 69. Check out this cool pic from 1881. Some unarmed dude in California struck silver gold with a calico-colored find. That led to Calico, California blowing up as a major silver spot, even though it didn't last forever. Number 68. Got a snapshot here from the 1890s showing a Yuma Mojave wedding day. This pic really brings out the whole traditional and cultural vibe of their wedding. Number 67. We've got Chief John Smith, or Kabi Nagui Wens from the Chippewa tribe in Cass Lake, Minnesota in a pic. He was said to be like 132 to 138 years old when he passed. But the real deal is he kicked it at around 100 due to pneumonia in 1922. Number 66, check this out. It's the Horse Wrangler in Bonham, Texas, way back in June 1910. Number 65, imagine this. Those covered wagons, like the ones folks rode in the 1880s, rolling west with families and all their stuff. It was like a regular scene as Americans and others were on the move into the Wild West for a fresh start. Number 64. Check out this pic from like 1905. Buffalo Bill and his horse Isham kicking it at the Wild West Arena. You can totally see the legendary showman and his sidekick just owning the scene. Number 63. Check out this pic. There's Wild Bill Hickok hanging with a couple of other dudes back in the Old West. 62. When Buffalo Bill kicked the bucket in 1917, they laid him to rest in Golden, Colorado. Folks from all over made the trip to say their goodbyes to the ultimate Wild West showman. Number 61. It's a cool pic of folks building a railroad bridge in Green River Valley, Wyoming. And guess what? The awesome Citadel Rock is just chillin' in the back. This totally shows the go big or go home vibe of the 1868 railroad craze. Number 60. Back in 1907, there's this dude caught on camera just chillin' on a knoll at L.S. Ranch, Texas, keeping an eye on a grazing herd. Number 59. Laura Bullion, part of Butch Cassidy's Wild Bunch crew, got her mugshot taken by Pinkertons in 1893. She did some train robbing and got nabbed for the Great Northern Heist, scoring a five-year jail stint in 1901. Once out, she tried to make it as a seamstress and interior designer in Memphis, but luck wasn't on her side. Sadly, she passed away in 1961. Number 58. Check this. David E. Harold, part of the gang that offended Abraham Lincoln, was caught in a photo from 1868 to 1870. 57. Take a look at Wyatt Earp, looking sharp in a black suit. The way he's rocking that serious yet charismatic vibe in the shot totally cements his rep as an Old West lawman legend. Number 56. See this. It's a kind of eerie pic from the 1870s with a big pile of bison skulls. It's a bummer. The U.S. Army went all out against native tribes, and the result was a bison massacre. Those once 60 million strong bison were down to just 300 by the late 1800s. But things turned around, and now we've got about 200,000 bison making a comeback. Number 55. Oh, it's a badass pick from 1903 of a black sheriff on a horse in Pocatello, Idaho. 
You know, back in the day, black cowboys like him were like one in four, but we don't hear about them as much as the white settlers. After the Civil War, being a cowboy was a better gig for men of color than just doing service work. William Lauren Katz, the history guy. Number 54. It's a pick of three cowboys rocking all black outfits, giving off that mysterious and determined vibe. They're holding their guns like they mean business, totally channeling the Old West feel. Number 53. A pick of four Texas Rangers from way back in the 1800s. Those OG pioneers. They're decked out in their unique gear, showing off that bravery and grit that defined the lawmen of the Old West. 52. Check this out. This pick has James Butler Hickok, a.k.a. Wild Bill, who's like a superstar of the Wild West. He did soldier stuff, lawman stuff, and even acted, but let's be real. He kind of made up a lot of his own hype. Still, he did tangle in some gunfights and took down a few dudes. Number 51. Peek into the Table Bluff Hotel and Saloon, Humble County, 1889. This pick totally brings out the whole vibe of a classic frontier joint back in the day. Number 50. Check out this cowboy standing in front of his cabin in Hot Springs, Arkansas, way back in 1901. Number 49. Take a look at this pick from back in 1888 showing Comanche Chief Quana Parker with his mystery wife at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Number 48. In this 1878 pick, check out Dodge City. It was a big stop for cattle drives from out west, so you had loads of rowdy cowboys packing heat. That's why you needed some seriously tough lawmen to keep things chill. Number 47. In 1884, Tombstone, Arizona saw the lynching of John Heath. He was tied to a botched robbery that turned into a tragic mess. This incident shows how rough justice was in the Wild West. Number 46. Here's a cool pick from 1865. It's a 19-year-old William Buffalo Bill Cody. You can totally see how young he was before he became that legendary Wild West dude. Number 45. Check out this pick from 1900. It's Butch Cassidy's crew, the Hole in the Wall Gang, also known as the Wild Bunch. These were the bad boys of the Wild West, doing their thing back in the day. 44. Take a look at this bandito from way back in 1911. Number 43, there's this kid Jimmy McKinn who got snatched by the Apaches. When they saved him, he actually didn't want to go back to his family and preferred staying with the Apaches. Number 42, here's Bull Chief from around 1908, repping the Apsa Roque, or Crow tribe. He used to lead raiding parties in the 1870s, but when the U.S. kept spreading west, he had to move his crew to a Crow reservation. Number 41. This is a snapshot of a Navajo man all decked out in his fancy gear, complete with a mask and paint taken in 1904. Number 40. Around 1900, there's this pic of a young cowboy. He's like the Wild West spirit in a snapshot. Number 39. Back in 1851, Olive Ann Oatman got snatched up in Arizona by some mystery Native American tribe. Then the Mojave tribe took her in and gave her some blue face ink, keeping her around for five years. Number 38. Check this out. A colorized pic from 1908 with Texas cowboys and their chuck wagon. It's like a vivid peek into the rugged cowboy life of that time. 37. Chinese workers were brought in for basic railroad jobs, but they turned out to be total pros at skilled tasks like laying tracks, doing masonry, and even being bosses of other laborers. 36. Look at this pic. Wild Bill Hickok, rocking a fancy shirt and a knife on his belt. He's got that classic Old West gunslinger vibe going on. Number 35. Portsmouth Square in San Francisco in 1851 during the gold rush. It's like a snapshot of the crazy hustle and bustle when folks were rushing in for that gold dream. Number 34. Here's a pic from 1864. A guy just chilling in front of some buildings in Atlanta, Georgia. It's like a sneak peek into American history. Number 33. It's a cool pic of trappers and hunters in Browns Basin, Arizona Territory. 
around the Four Peaks area. Such an adventurous vibe. 32. Here's a pic of Solomon Acri, a Texas cowboy. This shot gives you a peek into the life of a Lone Star State cowboy. Number 31. It's a vintage mugshot of Goldie Williams, snapped in 1898 when she got nabbed for vagrancy in Omaha, Nebraska. Number 30. This is from 1900, inside a bar in Deadwood, South Dakota. You can really feel the Wild West vibes, with folks hanging out and having a good time. Number 29. In this photo, Whirling Hawk, part of the Sioux tribe, was totally killing it in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Number 28. Whirling Horse Sioux Tribe member was a total showstopper in Buffalo Bill's Wild West gig. He really brought out the Native American culture and skills in that touring show. Number 27, meet Pistol Pete, AKA Frank Eaton. He's a legendary dude known for his sharp shooting and cowboy adventures out in the Wild West. Number 26, in the photo is some dude in a black coat taken between 1864 and 1910. His outfit is totally rocking that late 1800s or early 1900s style. Number 25. Back on April 22nd, 1889, things went wild with the Oklahoma land rush. Two million acres of land were up for grabs. Around 50,000 folks jumped in, staking 160 acre lots for free, but they had to live on and make the land better. Number 24. This was the mugshot of James Collins a 23-year-old tailor who was arrested for burglary in Omaha, Nebraska in 1897. Number 23. Sometime around 1900, cowboys hit up a bustling saloon bar, totally embracing that Old West vibe with their tough charm and daring attitudes. 22. Here's a pic of young Wyatt Earp around 1870 when he was just 21. Back then, he was the deputy marshal of Tombstone, Arizona. Number 21. Around 1890, a miner from Denver could be seen working hard by the river, giving us a peek into the mining history of that area. Number 20. After the OK Corral showdown in Tombstone, Arizona, Wyatt Earp jumped into various businesses, even trying his luck running a brothel. Number 19. A cool pick of a miner's camp right by a mountain in San Juan County, Colorado can really feel the tough and daring life those miners were living during that mining era. 18. Here's a snap of Pearl Hart, a female stagecoach robber. The photo was taken at the end of the 19th century at the Yuma Territorial Prison. Number 17. May Lilly and Pawnee Bill around 1890. May Lilly was a trailblazer, one of the first women doing horse tricks and shooting in Wild West shows. Number 16. Here's a stagecoach in Tombstone, Arizona, like 1882. Tombstone's famous for its lawman outlaw fights. Even that OK Corral showdown. Number 15. Early morning, Frank Pistol Pete Eaton sporting his boots. A real glimpse into his legendary life. Number 14. Meet Bass Reeves, a former slave who rocked it as the first black deputy U.S. Marshal west of the Mississippi. He nabbed over 3,000 crooks and took down 14 baddies in self-defense, usually wanting them alive for trial. Number 13. In the early 1900s, a snap of Aussie bullock drivers. They're in the pick doing their thing, hauling stuff with their beefy bullock teams. Number 12. Billy the Kid, the Wild West legend, ditched New York City slums to make a name out west. His wild deeds, including killings, made him super famous before he got shot and killed at 21 in the Lincoln County War. Number 11. Look at this old pic of Jesse James, the outlaw, all suited up in black. A sneak peek into history, showing his mark on the Old West. Number 10. When Jesse James was just 17, he rocked with Confederate guerrillas during the Civil War. Later, he led a gang of outlaws. But no proof backs up those romantic tales of sharing stolen loot. Number nine, here's outlaw Bell Starr, after getting nabbed by Deputy U.S. Marshal Charles Barnhill on the right in 1886. Her story was all over the place back then, with the National Police Gazette calling her the Bandit Queen. Number eight, check this out. There's another Billy in this pic, not Billy the Kid. Among all those Billy pics, 
This one really looks alike, kind of matching the mystery subject. Number seven, check this, a pic of young cowboys in action. You're getting a peek into that adventurous cowboy life in the Wild West. Number six, look at this pic from 1900. It's Buffalo Bill William F. Cody, the dude who really made a mark on the Wild West scene and showbiz. Number five, a 150 year journey in African American vintage pics from post slavery 1860s to the 1960s and beyond. Number four, Check out this iconic 1867 pick of Wild Bill Hickok. He's that legendary Wild West sharpshooter who lived a wild life back in the day. Number three, here's a portrait of a cowboy from 1887. Number two, meet Bronco Bill William Irving, his wife Ella, and their son Benny around 1887. Bronco Bill was sometimes a translator for the Lakota and was part of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Number one, in this photo is Martha Jane Canary, AKA Calamity Jane. She's a true American frontierswoman and pro scout. And that's a wrap folks. We've ridden through the tumbleweeds, wandered the trails and uncovered some real treasures from the past. Who knew the old West had so many secrets up its sleeve, huh?